in previous opportunities we saw the poor performance that the default without physics have compared to the same default settings in Unity. However, today we will use Grout and Rapier, the main 2D alternative to the default physics engine of Grout and compare it with Unity. Will they have the same performance? Will Grout even perform better? Let's see. First of all, let's do a super quick project overview in both Grout and Unity. So here in Grout we have the uh, main node, okay, with the script that uh, what we'll do is to basically instantiate uh, for every timer timeout a signal 5 volts in total we are using static typing over here to make sure that the performance is uh, the best possible so yeah basically also using here some markers that I will show in a second we are positioning uh, the, the vault in the corresponding position um, in terms of the timer we are instantiating every 0 0.05 seconds, 5 volts. You will see that in Unity it is going to be the exact same rate. We have a walls node that has all the different static bodies with corresponding sprites. Okay, um, and these are just the markers, okay, uh, in which the, the balls are going to be able to spawn from the first marker to the second marker. Uh, we have the timer that I showed a second ago and finally a super simple user interface with the current FPS, the time that have that has passed and a code that is always updating the amount of time uh, that passed and as well as the uh, as well as the FPS. We can even write this to be just a float so that we also use static typing and you can also check over here that I have installed Good old Rapier 2D, and I have it enabled enabled in my Physics 2D Rapier 2D. Also, uh, here in Good old, what we have to check is the ball scene. So the ball scene actually here is quite quite simple and straightforward. Um, I have modified no property over here. It is everything the same thing. Also, something I have to check is that I have no physics material, so this has no vanciness, uh, no anything here. Uh, modified and the only thing that it actually contains is a sprite that I have just loaded in here a circle um, and a collision shape matching the the size of the ball okay but there isn't anything else that has been modified also just here for Godot I know that you can uh, announce unity but you can modify lots of things for example here uh, in this uh, part in terms of the dump for example uh, the default gravity etc this also happens in Unity, but well, in none of them I have actually modified anything in terms of the project settings. So you can just consider this as well. And in Unity we have a super similar setup. We have, well, the, the main camera. We have uh, the walls. That here, the only thing that they have is a box collider and a sprite render. Uh, the spawner object that I will get in the code in a second. A canvas okay containing the, the same text with a, a container and that's basically all that we have here in unity the ball the only thing that it has is a circle collider and a rigid body and as you can see no properties have been modified it doesn't have any physics material as well in terms of scripts we only have two we have the canvas script and the spawner script so we're going to check them out super quickly um as I have explained in Godot, the, the spawn interval is uh, 0 0.05 in both of them and every 0 0.05 seconds we are getting 5 volts. Once again, over here we are spawning the volts as they should. And then in the canvas we are basically uh, updating the FPS text and the time text as well. Now let's start with the performance of Godot and Rapier. 2D. So I will click over here play and let's see what is currently happening. So as soon as the game starts we do get amazing FPS, uh, more than 1000 FPS. We get until 10 seconds, we still get those FPS. And also the behaviors are super accurate, okay? They aren't clumsy or anything like that. Now we see how well the walls uh, start overflowing um, because there are 
just so many of them, but we are still 30 seconds in and we're getting more than 500 FPS. So indeed, uh, the, the performance is much better than the one that you may have in growth performing in a similar test. Now reaching 40 seconds, we do start to see some kind of lower FPS. We are below uh, 60 right now. And when we reach close to 50 is when uh, everything starts uh, to break down. And yes, let's say that we get uh, to play for uh, 50 to 60 seconds, okay? Now let's see what are the results that we get in Unity. So once again, as soon as we get started, we do see quite interesting FPS. We don't was able to run for more than 1000 FPS to, to have more than 1000 FPS in the first seconds, I, I, I remember. Oh, well, here Unity wasn't able to do that. However, both seem to still be quite similar in terms of performance, okay? Um, here as well, balls start to, to overflow. We don't see that much, um, like falling uh, of them. They are a little bit more constant. Uh, but well, right now we do see even a, a worse performance. We are in 30 FPS in 40 seconds. Um, so yes, here we are able to play for something like 45 seconds versus the 60 seconds that we got um, in without with Rapier. So indeed, even the performance that you get with without and Rapier is better than Unity, at least in this uh, test that we are performing. Now we are seeing both tests being performed at the exact same time. Actually, I want to know what you think about this test, without and Rapier versus Unity, even without physics, whatever related to without physics, because it is always a topic that is worth discussing. Um, so I really look forward to reading your opinion in the comments down below. And now, yes, I will see you in the next video.